Uh oh. I hear something. Whoa! It's a grasshopper! No, no, no. Is that a spider? It's, it's a bee! They're shooting things at me! Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Small Land. So, guys, this is a game where you play as. I guess really, really tiny people, and we're trying to survive. I think there's gonna be what's well, gonna look like giant insects to us. I think they're regular size insects, bugs, creatures, but we're super small, and some of you might know about this. I'm not great with bugs, especially spiders. I have a fear of spiders. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm afraid to see them though. So I'm doing it anyway. I played games with spiders. And it seems like you guys like seeing me get scared, so I'm probably gonna get scared at some point. But I think we get into it. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this a series or not, but hey, go crazy on that like button. Maybe if you guys love it, maybe I'll do more. Honestly, this seems like maybe a cool game to stream. Do I live stream? Okay, new character, character name. Funges? Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, we can do a little character creation. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save you guys to the watching of this whole thing. Maybe I'll speed it up. I'm gonna make a character, and that's the end of that sentence. Okay, this is what I came up with. I don't know. We're going with a purple guy, red antenna, kind of some normal hair and facial features. I did go for the horizontal eyes. I'm thinking, don't frogs have horizontal pupils or something? I think this looks kind of nice. It looks definitely not human. Oh, wow. Look at, dude, look at my fingernails. They're like sharp or something. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Wow. Okay, so we could join a server. Look at all these servers. So, guys, this game actually, it's in early access. I can't say it came out. Dude, I wish listed this game, I don't know, maybe five years ago. I saw the trailer for this game years ago, and I think they've been working on it since then. So, I'm pretty excited to be finally playing this. All right, so we can create a new world. I don't want to go online. I think we just, new world? Okay, um, how about Pungyville? Okay, Bungie Village being created as we speak. Create and start. Okay, I don't really know what to expect. I didn't, I don't know. I didn't read anything. I, I saw the trailer. So I don't know. I don't know if there's like a story. Intrepid Vanguards. Your queen is ill. Uh-oh. Gravely ill. That's worse than regular ill. This is why as your king, I'm asking for your help. Venture into the overland and seek out a cure, whatever the cost. Be bold. Be brave. Remain vigilant. Hey, I'll be brave as long as I don't see any spiders. From King Valdemar's speech to the Vanguard Corps. So the queen is gravely ill. We got to find a cure for the queen. Am I playing? I'm playing. I'm playing a game. Okay, we're, we're playing small land. And this is me. Hi. Welcome to me. Okay. Dude, this is crazy. I've waited for this game for five years, I think. I don't know. I think it was around 2018 when I first saw it. Maybe before that. Whenever they announced it. I can't believe I'm playing this. There's a person. Dude, look at this. So I'm like a tiny person. And everything is huge. Sentinel Virgil. I have to talk. Greetings. I've been tasked with meeting all vanguards before they leave the boroughs. As I have crucial information to impart. Tell me what's going on. Keep a keen eye trained for the, these owl effigies. They are scattered throughout the area and provide useful hints and tips to help you survive. Outside, you'll find Captain Herney. He will help you on your first days outside the burrows. Thank you. All right, we're looking for Herney. So this is an owl effigy. It tells me things. Okay, maybe it gives me like game tips or something. Harvesting. The overland is rich with natural resources and food. Some can only be harvested with the correct tool. You can craft different tools to harvest natural resources. Okay, basically he's saying you need certain tools to harvest different things. Press V to engage antenna mode in order to help you spot harvestable resources much easier. Okay, well let's try antenna mode. Look at that, twig, uh, gather. I don't need a tool for that. Sprout, gather, dude, antenna mode is cool. Do I have a limit to antenna mode? Oh, okay, okay, wait, no. The 90% going down, that must be my hunger meter. Okay, guys, we got 
We're gonna... Oh, we get some wood. I'll take that. So now I can make a wooden hatchet or a wooden club. G to craft. Let's do it. Let's craft some stuff. How about... How about we do hatchet? Whoops. Oh, we need fiber. We just need wood for this. Well, we don't have enough. Okay, we don't have enough to make anything. Okay. Well, we got we got some materials. Okay. And I'm thinking any any crafting. Maybe I'll show you guys collecting some things and crafting some things. Oh. Oh, we just get resin just like that. But eventually, it's probably going to be lots of crafting. And I will be doing that off camera. Okay, one thing I will say, it's pretty dark in here. <laughs> I hope you guys are able to see. Maybe I'll maybe I'll up the brightness in editing. All right, we got another owl effigy. Okay, these guys got a lot to say. When you examine an owl effigy, it reveals useful pieces of advice. Okay, it's just saying owls will teach you things. You can go in the compendium to read it again. Okay, um, there's a there's a lot of owl action. This should be called Owl Land. Press tab to open the inventory. Like the codex. Okay, this is tab is the craft. It shows the crafting. So, oh, a little map action. This is where we are. Looks like a pretty big map. Compendium. This is where we learn things. Codex. Craft builders hammer to unlock your first. Okay, you know, there's a lot going on here. So, yeah, we need the lighting. It's getting a little brighter. I was going to say, it's pretty, it's been pretty dark. And I got to remember to do antenna mode because this shows me the things I can collect. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is there more resin? It's gone. But yeah, this antenna mode is kind of nice. Okay. These are people. Sentinel aid. Sentinel Ben. What's up, Ben? Food at the root barracks has become pretty stale lately. Luckily, my sister brought me some fresh insect eggs this morning. Okay. That doesn't sound very appealing. My wife can make a mean pixie omelet. Okay. Give me, give me the insect eggs. Dude, <laughs> were those Ben's insect eggs he was talking about? I just took them? Sentinel Pav. All you need for speed repairs is a good builder's hammer. Okay. Good to know. Okay. We got a lot of people. Mold, mold everywhere. Hmm. What's, what's wrong with a little mold? <laughs> Sentinel car. Make sure to search out these owl effigies. Okay. I know about the owls. <gasps> look at all the, look at all the, the insect eggs. I want to eat those. Sentinel aunt. May the sacred owl be with you. Okay. Trendin, good luck in the overland, Vanguard. Keep your wits about you and stay frosty. I want that I want that roasted mushroom. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Look at this little house they got going on down here. Looks like it's put together with pieces of bark and stuff. I like it. Alright, we're passing the the bridge. And Drake. Have you heard about the queen? I pray to the sacred owl, she makes a full recovery. I heard she's sick. Be careful, Vanguard. There are some nasty creatures out there. <laughs> you see, that's what I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear about the nasty creatures. But I'm all for trying to help the queen. Okay, guys. It is stuttering a little bit. Maybe maybe I'll adjust my settings a little. How about everything's on ultra? How about high? High good? Let's try high. Does it still look great? Hopefully, maybe this will fix stuff. Okay, Sentinel Arter. I wish I wasn't on Night Watch duty. The Overland is a dangerous enough place during the day. Ooh. <laughs> Sentinel Oliver. Captain Herney is stationed downhill from here. You should go and introduce yourself. Yeah, lots of talking. Look at all these owls I gotta talk to. Oh boy. You can lose health from hostile creatures, extreme temperatures fall damage, or being hungry. On the bright side, you can recover health by using healing items, keeping yourself well-nourished, or sleeping. M to open up the map. Map will show you things. You can make a marker. All right, good to know. Hey, I gotta say so far, oh, I need to do antenna. I need these sprouts. Yes, please, I will take sprouts. I will take twigs. Hopefully I haven't missed too much other stuff. Yeah, the... The antenna mode, it's nice. But guys, so far I'm liking this. It looks nice. I really like the music. It, I think this is like 
Custom music? I like the music, the visuals, the story so far. We got, we have a mission. We got to save the queen. We got owls like crazy. Armor provides protection against different types of damage. And it can keep you warm. Some settlers have the expertise to make new sets of armor. Provided you give them the right materials. This is Herney. What's up, Herney? Talk to me. Greetings, Vanguard. Welcome to the Overland. I am Captain Hern Ernest Monokabi, but most small folk simply call me Herney. What can I do for you? Wait, his name is Ernest. So maybe Ernie. Let's go with Ernie. Although Herney, I don't know. It's kind of more fun to me. What what questions? What's the Overland? I kind of know what it is. What tools? How do I build a shelter? We're gonna okay. We can find this stuff out eventually. Could you grab some armor for me? You have to bring the right materials. Uh, what about... Ooh, okay, so we need just a little more fiber for something. We're so close. Okay, we're so close to making some armor. The Elder Ludwig has requested your presence. Go see him at once. He is staying in the cave just down the hill. Ready to go. Another owl. <laughs> And make sure to eat and drink regularly. Being well nourished will make you more resilient and energetic, as well as stronger in combat. Can I grab this up? <gasps> I get the blackberries. Yes, please. How about any of this stuff? Can I grab? Can I grab? Can't grab the other stuff. I see something flapping. I see like a like a butterfly or something. Can I? Does green mean I can make it? Green must mean I can make it. So we could make a hatchet. We could make a club, hammer, torch. How about we go hatchet? Let's craft our first thing. We got a hatchet. Okay. How? Okay. How do I equip? Right click. I just equipped. We got a hatchet. Okay. Look at. Ooh. That's kind of that's kind of a fancy way to swing an axe. <laughs> All right. Let's get some sprouts. We're doing a little collecting. But yeah, I feel like that's kind of a fancy swing. So I was looking at some reviews. I saw one person said they would like like a brightness slider that would be nice i would like to adjust the brightness because it's a little dark especially i got my lights on me it's kind of hard to see things stay away from deep water small folk can't i can't swim upon death you'll respawn at your activated bed or spawn location tombstone will appear where you died you must travel back to it to reclaim your inventory okay so must need a bed or something temperature is going to drop at night raise in the afternoon some creatures are nocturnal and will only come out at night. Watch out as night creatures are usually more dangerous than their daytime counterparts. Build a bed to set a new spawn point and to have a place to sleep. You can only sleep at night and for you to fall asleep, you must be sheltered and there must be no hostile creatures around. Okay, guys, we're, we're in trouble. I don't have a bed. I don't have a shelter. It's going to be nighttime at some point. Okay, it's still daytime right now. Dude. Okay, you know what? I'm collecting a lot of resources. I'm reading a lot of stuff. I think we gotta hurry up. Okay, where's this guy that we gotta talk to? Character saved. I hear crackling. Oh boy. Where's this guy we gotta talk to? This has gotta be the person. The elder. Whoa, look at this guy. Vanguard, finally you're here. Elder, what are you doing in this overgrown cave? The jeweled clover key that unlocks the apothecary's chest has gone missing. I fear it may have been stolen. We're here trying to find some other means of opening the chest. What's in the chest? Melkar, the apothecary's greatest achievement, the elixir of life. He claimed it could heal any ailment known to small folk. Wait a minute. It sounds like that'll heal the queen. We just got to open that chest. Do you have any idea who might have taken the clover key? The key was locked in the royal vault, which is always under heavy, heavy guard. Only the king and I are allowed entry. The theft was noticed when the queen became ill and the clover key was needed, but it could have happened some time ago. Have you tried forcing the chest? We dare not. The chest is heavily reinforced. We would risk destroying the elixir within. Okay, we can't just crack it open. I was told you requested my presence. Ah, uh, yes. We've received troubling reports from overland settlers in the forest. It seems as though some of the creatures in the area have become unusually agitated and aggressive. Seek out these settlers, investigate their claims. Does this have anything to do with the clover key? It's a coincidence, but no connection. <laughs> okay. You'll find the settlers scattered throughout the forest, so I have marked their locations on your map. Be careful. The wilderness is filled with danger. Ernie and Kalev can help you survive here in the overland. I shall leave now. Okay. Dude, look at these guys. So this is the elder. 
So, apparently, someone stole this clover key. And the key opens the chest, which has this elixir of life, which can save the queen. But whoever stole the key, maybe they poisoned the queen or something? I don't know. But I like that we got a story. Walnut chest, examine. It looks like a chest made out of a walnut. <laughs> On the back, there are hinges. On the front, it has a strange cavity in the shape of a four-leaf clover. Do we try to open it? You try to force it open, but it won't budge. Okay, that was kind of dangerous. Examine the cavity. You run your hand over the four-leaf clover cavity. The bottom section moves slightly when you press it. Push the bottom of the cavity. Nothing happens. Oh, okay. Well, nothing we can do yet. So, I guess we got to talk to these settlers now. Okay, and probably a good idea to hurry. All right, so we can actually look on the map. Okay, so let's, we got to go to Kalev. Dude, my hunger is... Hunger's kind of hurting. And then our temperature, it's comfortable, but it's going down. Okay, if he could make me some armor, that'll warm me up. Okay, do I have... To? Okay, I have stuff now. I got 29 fi fiber. That's good. How about a uh, padded wrap? This is a lot of fiber, but we're going for it. We got the padded wrap. How about padded bracers? Okay, we're definitely going to be a little warmer. Am I, am I wearing this stuff? How can I tell if I'm wearing? Okay, right click. I'm wearing it. And I'm wearing that. Okay. So, how about eating? How about blackberry? How about eat? Oh, we're eating. That's good. Eat blackberry. Eat insect egg. Is that going to be good? That seems good. Okay. I could use some more food. But, oh no, it's getting darker. This is not good. All right. Let's get out of here. Guys, we're going to be in big trouble. I'm not going to be able to sleep. I have no shelter. Dude, those butterflies. There's butterflies. I want to fly on the butterflies. I have no shelter. Okay. I got to say, now it's getting really dark. But those butterflies, I want to fly on them. Can I jump on this? Okay, dude. This is really, really dark. The night time. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hear something. Just run. <laughs> Just run. Hey, actually, maybe this is a good thing. What? No, no, no. No, no, no! There's, what are those? Carpenter ants! Warriors! Carpenter ant warriors. Okay, um, this is not good. This is not good. Warrior carpenter ants, no! Okay, my health is still okay. I'm I'm doing great attacking them. Oh, okay. I'm getting bug limps. Oh, how did we survive that? I got an ant head. We got ant skewer. Campfire. Craft at a campfire. Okay, <laughs> when you dismantle the structure, all the materials used when it was originally built will be dropped. Damaged structures can be repaired. Okay, I'm assuming there's probably going to be a structure around here, but I can't see it. I can't see a darn thing because it's a little too dark. All right, where's this guy we got to talk to? Kalev. All right, Kalev is this way. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> This is the only way I can go, though. You know what we need? We need a torch. Do you think I could make a torch? Torch. Yes. Okay. Equip the torch. Now we're talking. All right. Although this is a little bit of a problem because now I can see insects when they attack me. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. All right. Let's make a marker here. What about track? Okay. Now I get an exclamation point. Showing where I need to go. This is good. We're learning things. Oh, boy. All right. Kalev, I'm coming to you. Hopefully, you have a shelter for me. Uh-oh. Dude, it's just all water, and I can't swim. All right. I need to find... You feel hungry and thirsty. This is not good. Um, Maybe we go this way? Let's just follow the water. Uh-oh. I hear something. Whoa! It's a grasshopper! A grasshopper. Oh, it's huge. It's huge. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, I, I'm hitting it with my torch. I, Dude, I can't. Uh-oh. I can't. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> I can't go in my inventory. And it doesn't pause things. Get the grasshopper. Get the grasshopper. No! 
It's killed by a grasshopper. Okay, I thought when I went in my inventory, it would pause things for me. I'm gonna, gonna be honest. Um, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready for this nighttime. And I lost all my stuff. Well, at least I have the torch still. Okay, where's my, okay, there's my gravestone. This is our new waypoint. Oh boy. You know what? I could have taken that grasshopper on. The question is, is he still there? Is this bottle cap? I got a bottle cap. Oh no, I hear something. He's still here. He's still here. Okay, um, just hit him with the torch. Whoa, he launched me. He launched me. This is not good. Okay, this is not good. Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? I can't find my stuff. Is this where it was? Maybe if I go over here, he can't get me? Can he get to me up here? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I'm actually not that close to my gravestone. Oh no, I fell in the water. Um, <laughs> whoops. Okay, not the best start. Oh, we got a ladybug. We got a ladybug. Are you mean? Are you mean? I think, I think ladybugs are supposed to be nice, right? It's really tracking me. You wouldn't hurt me, would you? Okay, it seems like it's being nice. Oh, there's a lot of ladybugs around here. And it looks like it's starting to become daytime. That couldn't happen soon enough. And my torch broke. But here's the problem. I don't have my resources anymore. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's my stuff. Can I get it? Yes. Oh no. But the grasshopper. The grasshopper is back. Don't, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No grasshoppy. Please. Please grasshoppy. Hey. This, okay, maybe this isn't a nocturnal one. Oh boy, be very careful. <laughs> hey, they said the nocturnal things are less nice. Uh, take all. Yes, take all. We got all of our stuff. Where'd the, where'd the grasshopper go? He's gone. Hey, look, there's a big old owl up there. I want to check that out. Very good. Yeah, that grasshopper, he's actually nice this time. Hey, I want to I wanna equip things to my hop bar. Oh, here we go. So the torch goes up there. Wood club we'll put here. Mushroom steak. Okay, I'll eat that. I got two of them. That's nice. Let's put the hatchet here. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, I'm going to see what's going on up here with this big old owl statue. Okay, this, I think this is good. There's a pathway leading up here. I hope someone's got like a shelter and a bed for me already. I'm kind of not in the mood to build, but it's almost daytime. Dude, look at this. Okay, we another, got another owl. Small folk believe owls possess magical powers and worship them as some kind of divinity. Dude, look at this. Okay, now that it's daytime, I don't need the torch. Look at this beautiful place. Look at this beautiful place. Okay, this is nice. This food for me? Edible mushrooms, yes, please. This food for me, I will take it with pleasure. Okay, that's a that's a big owl, <laughs> dude. Okay, maybe these owls are like they just got good stuff. Oh, this food is for the owl. They like worship the owls or something. Okay, S this tree. It looks like there's a way to maybe get all the way up there. I don't know. Okay, how about we chop down this big old mushroom? It says edible mushroom. We need food. I take that. Now this is what I'm talking about, dude. This is beautiful. They okay. We gotta figure something out for nighttime. The you know the torch helped, but it was still kind of too dark for me. All right, we need to cross. Can I cross here? Is this is this shallow enough? It's shallow enough. We made the cross. Now oh, there's an ant. Are these ants nice? Carpenter ant worker. Whoa whoa. Okay, um, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, we got ants. <laughs> we got ants. No, 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 no. Okay, that's, that's a lot of ants. Okay, we're hurting. Did they poison me or something? Okay, how many deaths is that? <laughs> I think we're at three deaths already. Okay, there's my gravestone. I need these ants to just leave me alone. No, no ants. No, 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 no. Okay, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh boy, this is very bad. Okay, keep hitting. I don't know how I had the ax again. Do I keep the ax? I got to keep the ax, so that's nice. Okay, we're back again. Give me the gravestone. Take, 
Take all. Okay. I took everything. Now I'm just running. Now we just run. Run away from the ants. I don't think I can take them on. <laughs> Let's just run. I got to get out of here. But where's where's Kalev? I'm looking for Kalev. Bumblebees! Giant bumblebees! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You stay away from me. You stay away from me, you crazy bumblebees. No! They're shooting things at me. Bees don't shoot things. Bees sting. Oh, boy. There goes my stamina. No! Don't shoot things. Don't shoot things at me. This is bad. This is bad. How am I going to get away from these guys? Do I jump off the cliff? <laughs> okay. I think I got away from them. Whoa, what's that? Cockroach. Okay. You know, a little too many bugs for my taste. All right. Kaleb is way up here. We're not even close. All right. I don't know if we're going to make it to Kaleb. What is that? It's a spider. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Is that a spider? It's, it's a bee. <laughs> what was that? Was it a spider? It's got some kind of fangs. Oh, that was like a queen bee. Oh, no. I'm stuck. I'm in some kind of cave. What is that? No. No, no, no. <laughs> no, this is, this is too much. This is too much. Just run. Run. Okay, that's... That's an ant. Okay. It's an ant. It's like a red ant. What is that guy? Oh, it's like a... What is that? A fire ant? Am I going the right way? We gotta go this way. We gotta go this way. Kalev is this way. There's like a... There's a house here. There's a shelter. Kalev is here. I've made it. Kalev, help me. Give me some food. Hi, Kalev. Give me food. You have food? Wait, I have food. Um, eat food. Eat berries. I think berries help my health. Okay, maybe those guys let me alone. Edible mushrooms, yes, please. I need lots of edible mushrooms. Bugs limp. Do I eat this? Our health is still at nine. No, is this stuff helping me? We're at ten. No! No! I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but I keep dying. And then when I die, I don't like like it. Okay, we made it back. Give me my stuff. Take all. And then talk to Kalev. Talk to him. Hello, Vanguard. I'm Corporal Kalev. What are you doing here? What? I gotta hurry because these guys are gonna get me. Oh, uh, I'm responsible for escorting and protecting. It, you, dude, if you're supposed to protect, protect me. What's the armor? It's one I made myself using rocks I found in the mine. It's very durable. Can you make one for me? Uh, no. I got no rocks. All right. That's not great. What happened here? Why is no one working the mine? A tragedy. One of the tunnels collapsed. Most of the miners perished. The mining operations are on hold for now. Do you know anything about stone working? I know a thing or two. To work stone, you need to build a cutter grinder. We don't have the resources to make a proper one up here, but you may be able to create a makeshift cutter grinder using some of the giant's artifacts like bottle caps and screws. Where do I find those? Sandy shores, washed up bottles, screws you should find near some giant's artifacts. Okay, what else can I make with that? You can use it as a grinder to make seed oil out of seeds or sand wood to obtain refined wood. You could even cut flint and craft new weapons. Can I harvest these stones? Sure, but you need a pickaxe. Those are expensive. We're not just handing them out. You might be able to make one yourself though. Some of these ants, the red ones, have surprisingly strong mandibles. If you can get one of those, you can bring it to a workbench and try to make yourself a pickaxe from it. That would be useful. Where should I look for these red ants? I found the red ants. They're in and around this entire forest, but after we shut down the mining operations, some of them moved into the lower portion of the mine, just north from here. Be careful, though. There might be more in there than you can handle. Oh, I have a bandage? When did I get a bandage? Okay, well, I'll take a bandage. My health was at 26. Now it's at... Oh, it's going up fast. Dude, that's really good. Okay, how do I make a bandage? Can I make that? I don't see it in this stuff. Would be nice to be able to make a bandage. Okay, so it sounds like I gotta beat one of those red ants. How am I gonna do that? I can't even beat the regular ants. And it's nighttime. Okay, guys, how about we just, uh, oh, these guys have beds. I could talk to a wounded miner. One moment I was digging, the next I found myself buried under dirt and stone. What? Is this a bed? No, this is some kind of water thing. Can I get water? Okay, guys. One more try. Now, where is this mine? Well, we got more people to talk to. We got Scotty down here. We got Drustana up here. 
This shows us kind of what time it is. Okay, guys, let's just go. I'm looking for this mine. Oh, this is like tracks. That's a mine cart. Oh, it looks like the mine was here. But uh, I don't know. Let's just follow the tracks. <laughs> oh, no. This is bad. I can barely see a thing. Follow the tracks. I see some sort of mean ant. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I see ants. Okay. Is it? Oh, boy. I fell. Are these the red ants? Dawn ant. Okay. Ouch. Oh, boy. Okay. There's too many. There's too many. I got them. I got one. Oh. Okay. I gotta, I gotta watch for when they're attacking. Oh, boy. It seems like... Oh, okay. I gotta, I gotta wait for my stamina. I'm trying to jump when they attack. Okay. Oh, yes. He attacked. No. No. Okay. Get my stamina back up. There's more ants. Okay. Um, I think that's enough for now. <laughs> Guys, this is tough. Also, if you didn't already see it, check out my most recent Goat Simulator 3 video. Guys, the game was just absolutely crazy, and we keep doing more crazy stuff. Last time, we ended up finding a square whale. He was trapped. We set him free, and then after we set him free in the ocean, he may have gotten eaten by a giant whale, and we did a bunch of other really fun stuff, so definitely check it out if you missed it. But guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.